making sense of amplitude you could see on the UT set that we put the amplitude up and down but we've made no sense of how to interpret the height of the signal the amplitude for that we have to calibrate on an ASME block click on ASME select ASME block on this button an ASME block has holes drilled in it of a specified size they're called side drilled holes and we have to draw a DAC now at distance amplitude decreases by distance just like a real echo it will diminish by distance so as you get uh, close to a defect like this this hole here this flat part of this uh, through drilled hole we reduce the amplitude to about 80 percent and then mark the top of it with an X move to the other hole which is the same diameter but because it's further away it gives a smaller response we've been using the left mouse key use the right mouse key will turn the probe around we can now pick up the first hole again on full skip and again mark the top of the echo the terminology is as the sound comes down to here that's called a half skip as it bounces up to the top again that's called full skip so that's half a skip that's full skip some people describe this as a leg but certainly uh, most people describe this as half skip and full skip and if it carries on it could be full skip and a half uh, etc now pressing the right mouse key the left mouse key again I can pick up this one again mark the top of the echo now we join the uh, marks together, not exactly, but drawing through the points to make the best curve we can. This is called a DAC curve, and this represents the response from the same size holes based upon distance. Distance amplitude correction. D A C distance amplitude correction curve. If we now go back to the weld, we can pick up this indication here and see it's falling just short of the DAC. And it's just about hitting it there. Now when we create a DAC, we should also take into consideration transfer loss, which would increase the echo height, but we'll look at that in a later lesson. On, on full skip, you can see the echo here. On the other side of the world, half skip. And on full skip, It's about there. Now, if we look at other types of defects, let's look at lack of fusion. Using the right mouse key, and I'll draw it about here on the circumference. You can see the response is very smooth. But it's a very, very low amplitude response because the orientation to the beam angle is not exactly 90 degrees. By pressing the shift and the X or Z key, we can rotate that lack of fusion defect. You can see when the beam is at exactly 90 degrees to the lack of fusion, we get our best response. As I rotate the lack of fusion 
the response on the A scan will reduce. Here we're getting a bigger echo because the sounds hitting the lack of fusion, bouncing on the back wall, and then being received by the probe. At this point, we're getting no response at all on the A scan from the lack of fusion. Here we're getting a response, but that's from the cap. As the sound hits the lack of fusion, mirror-like, and bounces up. The actual defect position is here, very low response. And again, at 90%, at 90 degrees to the lack of fusion, we get our best response here. 